Today, we're diving deep into the ocean to explore the most haunted shipwrecks in history. From cursed pirates to tragic accidents, these wrecks are shrouded in mystery and the paranormal. Join us as we uncover the secrets and stories behind these eerie vessels and the spirits that still call them home. Are you ready to set sail on a spine-chilling adventure? Then hold on tight, because we're about to embark on a journey into the unknown. Number 10. The Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste was a merchant brigantine that was discovered adrift in the Atlantic Ocean on December 4, 1872, by the De Gratia, a Canadian brigantine. The ship was found in a seaworthy condition with its cargo intact, but with no sign of the crew. The ship's lifeboat was missing, and the only signs of a struggle were a broken pump and a sword. There were no signs of foul play or violence, and the ship's log and documents were still on board. The fate of the crew remains a mystery to this day. There were a total of 10 people on board the Mary Celeste at the time of its disappearance, including the captain, his wife, and their two-year-old daughter. The other crew members included seven men, some of whom had their families waiting for them in the United States. Despite extensive investigations, no one has been able to determine what happened to the crew. Some theories suggest that they were attacked by pirates or giant squid, while others suggest that they were victims of an explosion, mutiny, or foul play. Number 9. SS Andrea Doria the SS Andrea Doria was a luxurious Italian ocean liner that was the epitome of maritime elegance and grandeur. It was launched in 1951 and quickly became one of the most iconic ships of its era. However, in the early hours of July 26, 1956, Andrea Doria collided with another ship, MS Stockholm, off the coast of Nantucket, Massachusetts, in what was one of the most infamous maritime disasters of the 20th century. Despite the severity of the situation, the crew of the Andrea Doria sprang into action, helping passengers to evacuate the ship using lifeboats and other emergency equipment. Miraculously, out of the 1,711 people on board, 1,660 were rescued and 51 people died before Andrea Doria finally sank beneath the waves. However, the sinking of Andrea Doria had a lasting impact on the world of maritime travel. It was one of the first major disasters to occur in the era of modern mass media, and the media coverage of the sinking was intense and widespread. The incident also led to significant changes in maritime safety regulations and procedures, helping to ensure that future disasters of this nature would be less likely to occur. Today, the wreck of the Andrea Doria lives in approximately 250 feet of water, and it remains one of the most famous and iconic shipwrecks in the world. Number 8. HMS Rowan the UK Royal Mail ship, which was one of the most popular in the Caribbean, was struck by a hurricane near the British Virgin Islands in 1867. The wreck was believed to have claimed about 124 people. Many divers who visit there have claimed to experience strange things while exploring this wreck. They hear screams, and in addition, they are being touched. What makes this even more disturbing is that some passengers were tied to their bunks to prevent injuries from the storm. The ship rests at a depth of 24 meters. Number 7. The Flying Dutchman The Flying Dutchman is without a doubt the most well-known ghost ship in maritime culture. According to legend, this haunting ship can't make it to port because it's cursed and can't stop sailing. The story of this Dutch man-of-war ship was originally reported in the 1600s. The alleged captain of the ghost ship was possibly inspired by the legends of Baron Falk who went from the Netherlands to Java so fast that many thought the devil was helping him. Those who meet the haunted ship, which only appears in poor weather, are thought to have bad luck. The most famous story about the Flying Dutchman comes from King George V, who saw it while sailing in the Bass Strait off the coast of Australia. Since then, the ship has been a popular feature in literature, art, and film. She was the basis of Richard Wagner's opera of the same name and she also appeared in the film Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 2006. Number 6. SV Kaz 2 The SV Kaz 2 was found adrift 88 miles off the coast of Australia, near the Great Barrier Reef, just five days after it set sail from Airlie Beach towards Townsville, Queensland, in April 2007. As per investigation reports, the 12-meter catamaran was sailing with a three-person crew who have no experienced sailors. However, what happened to them remains a mystery to this day. Unbelievably, a vessel was found in perfect condition except for one sail, which had been shredded to pieces. The three men were never discovered. According to investigators, they might have drowned while trying to untangle a fishing lure caught in the vessel's rudder. 
It is also envisaged that a sea monster could have swallowed them. Number 5. The SS Valencia In 1906, the SS Valencia sank off the coast of Vancouver, British Columbia after encountering bad weather near Cape Mendocino and became a subject of mysterious ghost stories. Eventually, 37 of merely 108 people were saved using lifeboats, among which one disappeared. Since then, many fishermen have claimed to witness ghost ship sightings with human skeletons even after many decades post-sinking. Number 4. The MV Joyita In 1955, this fishing and charter boat was found abandoned in the South Pacific five weeks after it had been reported overdue. The air search mission could not trace it until a merchant ship found it drifting almost 600 miles off its source with no sign of passengers, crew members, and cargo. The lifeboats were missing, including the firearms and other equipment on board. Strangely, there was a doctor's bag and several bloody bandages on the deck, coupled with a broken radio which was tuned to the universal distress signal. Yet what happened there was never revealed. None of the crew was ever seen again to give evident clues. Number 3. Titanic on April 14, 1912, the unsinkable RMS Titanic hit an iceberg, split in two, and sank to the bottom of the Atlantic. The British passenger liner hit the iceberg on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. While this may be the most famous shipwreck in history, an estimated three million more vessels lie in ruins on the ocean floor. The Titanic was the largest ship of its time, but sadly its lifestyle was very brief. Its first only voyage began on April 10, 1912, and ended just four days later. The number of passengers lost made the disaster one of the largest shipwrecks in history. More than 1,500 people died and an estimated 705 were rescued. It is more tragic for all the men and fathers who had to sacrifice their lives for their women and children. Strangely, the ship took two hours and 45 minutes to be sunk. People sometimes link its wreck to the owner's remark that even God himself cannot sink the ship. They believe it is a slap on God's face. One of the survivors of the wreck, Eva Hart, said, The sounds of people drowning are something that I cannot describe to you, and neither can anyone else. It's the most dreadful sound, and there is a terrible silence that follows it. It is believed that many objects are still unbroken on the ship. Number 2. Thistlegorm Thistlegorm is a World War II shipwreck located in the Red Sea off the coast of Egypt. The ship was a British cargo vessel that was carrying supplies to Allied troops in North Africa when it was sunk by German bombers in 1941. There were 50 people on board that day and nine deaths were recorded after the wreck. The shipwreck is incredibly well preserved, with much of its cargo still intact. Divers can explore the ship's holds, where they will find everything from trucks and motorcycles to rifles and ammunition. The wreck is also home to a wide variety of marine life, including schools of fish, octopuses, and even the occasional shark. The wreck is located at a depth of 30 meters, 100 feet, which makes it an ideal site for divers who are trained in deep diving techniques. Overall, Thistlegorm is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in diving, history, or marine life. It is a truly unique and unforgettable experience that should not be missed. As weird as it might be, divers always seem to come back to this site and find something new. Isn't it mysterious? Number 1. Edmund Fitzgerald's Ship The Edmund Fitzgerald was a freighter ship that sank in Lake Superior on November 10, 1975. The ship was carrying a cargo of taconite, which is a type of iron ore, from Superior, Wisconsin to Detroit, Michigan. There were 29 crew members on board at the time of the sinking, and unfortunately, all of them perished in the accident. The exact cause of the sinking is unknown, but it is believed that the ship encountered a severe storm with high winds and waves that caused it to take on water and eventually sink. The ship's location and condition were unknown for several days after the sinking, and a search and rescue operation was unable to locate any survivors. The tragedy of Edmund Fitzgerald's sinking was immortalized in a popular song by Gordon Lightfoot titled, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. The haunting melody and lyrics of the song have contributed to the legend of the ship's ghosts and the belief that the spirits of the crew still haunt the area around the ship's final resting place. Some of these ships met tragic endings. Others were retired from service and sunk with good intentions or left abandoned on beaches. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Magma Storm for more fascinating discoveries. Thanks for watching and definitely check out the next video.